One of the other things that kind of bugs me about this episode is just how long it takes everybody to put two and two together and deduce that the same thing that happened to Space Dog happened to Kirk. But then it happens again at the end when Bad Kirk tries to leave orbit and abandon the Sulu Sickle and his buddies. Spock's all, are you sure? I thought we talked about this. How was there even a moment's hesitation there? As soon as he came on the bridge all confident and projecting from the diaphragm that they're taking off and whatnot, Spock should have been pinching necks like a vampire sock puppet. Everybody knew about the imposter at that point, and no one could possibly think Kirk cutting crew members loose like that was normal behavior. It's a little weird. 